thanks to our mild winters, the beautiful beaches all over the island and the Gulf Islands are popular destinations all year round. And the seaweed found on those beaches is popular for gardeners looking to bolster their soil and also for bugs looking for a home. Every Gulf Island might have different flies on them. We don't know yet. Entomologist Joel Gibson joined the Royal BC Museum one year ago. I came from Ontario. We don't have any ocean there, or at least not down where I lived in Ontario. Uh, so ocean was new to me and I went out to beaches and realized this is a totally different habitat that I'd never looked at before. And he's making it his mission to find and catalog these minute creatures. When I look at some of these things we've collected, it's the first time we've seen them in BC. They've probably been here for thousands of years, but no one studied them before. There's been studies in California, Europe, a lot in Australia, but not along the BC coast. So. There might be things that have washed over with the tsunami on different types of seaweed. So if we start finding different types of seaweed rack, we might find different flies on them or different beetles in it. And unless we start to study them, we wouldn't know. And our mild winters will keep Joel busy. Especially on the beaches, you get a lot of things even through the winter. Many flies and beetles live in seaweed. They eat each other. They eat the seaweed, they eat the bacteria growing on the seaweed. If they weren't there breaking it down, then it would just kind of wash out in the ocean. So it's a huge impact on the environment, these insects there breaking it down. These ones up here are really interesting. They're barnacle flies. They lay their eggs inside of barnacles, and then the larva will eat the inside of the barnacles and get sealed up when the high tide comes in. And we didn't have a record of them in the province previously, but you know, I found a bunch of these flies crawling around and mating on the barnacles on Arbutus Cove. So I wouldn't be surprised to find them on a whole bunch of beaches up and down the coast if we looked. Ensuring the expansion of the entomology collection one beach at a time. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, celebrating 130 years.